This is the simplest way that I can think of teaching how to paint a flamboyant tree, also known as a poinciana tree, also known as a flaming tree. We start with an angle brush uh, using a dark gray to create the trunk of the flamboyant, a very short trunk with plenty of branches. You can start at the top very lightly and then keep squeezing as you bring down the angle brush. Down and then squeeze. Lightly and then squeeze a little harder. And just keep doing that until you're satisfied with the major trunks. I should say the major branches. Now you can create the, the branches on the flamboyant tree by using a liner. I recommend that when you're doing that, you make sure that the paint is very thin by adding water to the acrylic paint. It makes the, creating the branches a lot easier. Also notice that every branch has, it ends almost like with a Y. So you have all these Ys. When creating a flamboyant, you want to make sure that the branches to the right and to the left are longer than the branches at the top of the flamboyant tree. So you get that umbrella look. Now not all flamboyants look like this, but this is a pretty easy way of painting a flamboyant tree and they are very common in the islands. I have actually seen them also in South Florida in the Miami area. Now notice where I place the uh, trunk of the flamboyant tree so that I could extend, I'll make the left side longer than the right side, the branches. And again, uh, if you start from the bottom, you squeeze hard at the beginning and then you loosen up so you get this nice crisp branches. Make sure that, they, that you squibble them in, don't, don't uh, do straight branches. As you can see, this is fairly easy, but do take your time in doing it. Now notice here I did not use the background because I want to focus on the flamboyant tree itself. The more you practice it, the better you'll become at it. Once you've done that, and you're finished with the branches, you then want to add a light green by using a one inch brush with loose bristles. The older the brush, the better. And just make sure that you tap very softly, the way I'm doing here. Do not tap too hard. Nice and soft. Very soft, very softly with the one inch brush. Now the size of the brush or the flat brush depends on the size of the canvas. This is about a 12 by 16 canvas. So I use a one inch flat brush. Tap softly and 
make sure you follow the branches, the shape of the branches. Now notice that I'm using a very light green here. Now I am applying a dark green in the bottom of the tree to create the shade. That's the shaded area of the flamboyant tree. While you still have that dark green, you might as well create the grass by tapping. Tap, tap, tap in a straight line there, like this. And now notice I put some of that green grass in the back of the tree, back of the trunk. This helps to create the 3D effect or perspective. Now you use a, what I use here is a dark red, not too dark, but you don't want the bright red here, you want a dark red. And what you do is you tap around using the branches again, but making sure that you do not get rid of all the green that's underneath. Tap, 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 and tap softly. Now you notice that some of the, when I tap, 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 sometimes they touch. You don't want all of them touching, but you do want some of the red to touch in various areas. But keep it in mind, you don't want to get rid of that green, so you may want to use some of that red in some of the areas where you did not apply green. Right over it as I'm doing here. Do not rush, do not try to do it fast, especially if you're learning how to do this. Now, once you get used to it, you can easily uh, make a flammarion tree within 20 minutes or so. Probably the most a half hour. And I'm talking about the tree, I'm not talking about the complete painting. Now I tap tap some of the red on the ground to give the illusion of flowers that have fallen on the ground. Right, once you look at the tree, if you decide that you want to create more red, that's fine. Uh, normally what I do is I now mix um, either get a very bright red or mix the, the, the red that I'm working with with the yellow. Just slight, not too much yellow, otherwise you're going to end up with orange, but enough, or, uh, enough yellow to create a very light red. 
and then tap some of that light red very carefully in some of the red areas and wherever you think that it might help to create the illusion of flamboyant flowers. So well, this is more or less how the tree will look if you were to see it in person. I apologize. I apologize for the uh, the darkness in the studio. I did not get good lighting that day. But I will show you the actual colors at the end of the painting. Notice how I'm taking my time adding the light red. Once you have done this, what I recommend is that you clean the brush and just use one side or the other of the brush, just the tip of the brush with a very tiny bit of yellow, and tap some of the little yellow, just a bit of yellow, on the flamboyant tree, and of course on the so-called flowers in the, on the floor, on the ground. You have to tap very softly because the flamboyant flower does have yellow on it. But very, very tiny on the tree. Very, very little yellow on the tree. Put too much yellow, it will not look that good. Just a tiny bit by just tapping with the side of the brush. Yeah, here's better lighting now. This is the actual color of the painting. Now I'm going back and I'm adding gray to the trunk of the, of the uh, tree. And then make sure that you blend it by, clean, by drying the brush and then tapping. And blend it with the black. Now notice I'm only I'm using uh, somewhat dark gray here, only because the background right now is white. So if I were to use white on the trunk, it would just it just wouldn't look right. But I recommend when you do have a background that you do add a very light gray to the trunk. As you can see, we're almost finished. Remember, there's no need to rush. Just take your time and enjoy painting. Once you get the hang of it, there's nothing like it. Here's a 
Thank you, little.